the chances. What's up, y'all? This is Rocket Rider 510, and I'm about to fly the drone again. And today, I'm gonna talk about how I think the Mini 3 Pro is the best drone for 2023. So I gotta be fast about this. <laughs> I just pulled over real quick. You see these, these windmills in the background. I wanna get a, some nice shots from those wind, windshield. Fuck it, I'm gonna take! I wanna get some nice shots of those windmills right there. And this is one thing I'm liking. Well, I think one of the best drones in 2023 is the Mavic Mini 3 Pro. Cause for me, my number one reason I got it was portability. I'm able to throw it in my backpack and you know, I keep my backpack with me wherever I go. So if I see something interesting, I can just throw it up in the air. And my other drone, the Air 2S, you know, it's not necessarily that big, but it doesn't necessarily fit in my backpack like, like as well as the Mini 3 Pro does. So I use a separate case and all that for it. Also, I use that drone for professional purposes. That's what I make my money off of. So yeah, the portability of this drone is just, it's amazing. To have such great image quality in, in a small package like this, uh, it's a lot better than the old Mini 2 and the Mini because it can handle higher winds. And obviously the cameras are a lot better because I'm getting my nice 4K footage that you couldn't get on those drones. I think you get the most bang for your buck with this drone. You know, obviously you have like the, Ma the Mavic 3, definitely more professional, they're top of the end, prosumer drone. Uh, it's pretty nice, but for that price, a lot of people don't need that much drone, you know what I mean? And so for me going lower with my Mini, my little original Mavic Mini I had, you know, it got decent image quality, but again, it's not up to that 4K, uh, that I get and also all the different intelligent flight modes. So in 2023, the Mini 3 Pro is probably about the best you can get for the money. All right, so let me hurry up and get this thing up. Like I said, I'm on the side of the road and I need to do a little quick deploy right here. So let's get her up in the air. That's it. <laughs> that was exciting right there. A little nervous. I didn't realize those things are so tall. I had to get up to 400 feet to catch them. Yeah, I was a little nervous getting up there. Like I said, it's like 400 feet to the top of those things. So that was exciting. It's definitely uh, windy out there. 
hence the windmills. <laughs> so yeah, this is just a little short one. I just the kind of thing, it just reminded me while I was doing this of why I like this little Mini 3 Pro so much right here. The portability right here, it, it was my number one reason for getting it because image quality is probably on par with the, the Air 2S, although the Air 2S does have a larger sensor. But this is pretty close, but also has a, a smaller aperture or larger apertures, you should say. So you have better low light performance and it has a little bit better re resolution. So they're pretty equal, but all in all for me in 2023, the Maverick Mini 3 Pro is about the best drone you can get for your money. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. What's the best drone? I'm gonna hurry up and get up out of here now if I get jacked up out of nowhere. <laughs> so if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and the rest of my YouTube vocalizations, y'all hit the thumb nuts. All right, this is Rocket Rider 510 doing crazy flights again. And I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out. Urgh.